guys, welcome back to another video brought to you by Total Cards. And today we're going to be opening the brand new, releasing this week, Yu Gi Oh Speed Duels Trials of the Kingdom. It's a beautiful box. Um, it's got the <laughs> Dark Magician of Chaos, which is again a really nostalgic card and awesome to see. Um, but this is the fourth expansion of Speed Duels. It's still going, it's still kicking strong. I'm quite excited to open this because it's got some. It's got Yugi on the front. Like, what mark would you <laughs> want? This, uh, this, uh, these boost boxes proper appeal to people who are like like the nostalgic original Yu-Gi-Oh series. So, hopefully, we'll get some good pulls out of this. Not 100%. I have a general idea of what cards are in it. It's got like the legendary Fisherman Two in it, um, and that one's just a chaos. You know, it's a pretty cool boost box. But personally, we don't play the speed duels. Only like the mobile game. So understand 100% how the game works I just don't keep up with the meta so I can only advise everyone on what cards look pretty and what cards are nostalgic I have no idea on the relevance however I do play the regular Yu-Gi-Oh card game so I might be able to I can tell what's a good card and what's a bad card if that helps anyone who's looking to pick up their own Trials of the Kingdom or just wondering what's in these so Without further ado, let's try and crack these packs open. I think we'll leave this one sealed, just so you know what you get from the first booster box. And then we'll open the second one, and then you'll know what you get out of that one. So, let's get into these packs. And these booster boxes contain like 36 packs. So, that's a lot of packs to open. However, the packs only contain five, or like regular Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, not the all secret, the guaranteed secret rare packs, but um, regular Yu-Gi-Oh! have nine cards in a pack, so. Stack. Uh, we get an ultra rare from the first pack. Let's go, boys. We got Dan Zalug. Uh, so when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can activate one of these effects. Discard one random card from your hand, or send the top two cards of their deck to the graveyard. Now, I don't know about you, right, but this card sounds insane, especially if you're using equip spells in your deck, because it discards a card from your opponent's hand, and in speed duels, what, you only start with like three or four? So... Losing your cards is huge. Or if you're running low, you only have 20 cards in your deck. Discarding two, you're like, that, that is costly. Um, especially if they're good cards. So, personal opinion, I think this is an awesome Ultra Rare. Um, and especially to start the video, that's pretty cool. And he's gone. He's dead. Uh, the Ultra Rare is dead. <laughs> Rest in peace, Ultra Rare. But no, that's a really good Ultra Rare to start off with. But I don't see it being crazy good unless you have something to boost it. But Speed Duels is completely different and people do play equip spells and stuff like that so it happens and I can see that being used and um, so we got Bloodsucker, Kairu Shin, Jurak Spinos and Iron Jaw. What's crazy about these packs as well you're not always guaranteed a rare or a, or a no, like a super rare or an ultra rare so sometimes the packs don't feel crazy good because you haven't pulled anything like, oh, we've got the boy already. We've only gone and done it. We've got the Magician of Black Chaos. I said Dark Magician of Chaos, didn't I? No, it's a Black Magician of Chaos, sorry. Um, got it already. We're only three packs into it. And we've got the card off the box. That's awesome. Really cool to see him. He's, he's such a big boy. 2800 attack. And he's a ritual summon. Crazy good card. I'm really happy we pulled that. Wow. You can see the speed duels on it. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. You can see the speed duels on it as well. Very cool. We can end the video here, guys. We cut our losses. We only opened three back packs. And we got the Magician of Black Chaos. Let's go. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, keep plowing through these video, um, these uh, packs and hope our luck is good. Luck is on our side. So we've got Suzuki Samurai, Marikotai, Waking the Dragon, and Ancient Brain. One look, be on our side, please, 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 please. Okay, I guess we can't ask for much more because they're already full. I want to see the new skill cards though, because the set cards usually get announced pretty quickly with the speed duels. But the uh, the skill cards come out a bit later. They're a bit more secret because they're the OP things that people want out of the set. Uh, sealing ceremony of situation. Ooh. See some cool Yugi Mortal skill cards. And that's what's really different about Speed Duels as well. You have skills that you can just activate uh, to help you out. 
which is really cool. And these cards are always more glossy. I don't know what it is, but they're always a lot more glossy than a regular Yu-Gi-Oh card. Okay. Yeah, whenever I, oh, there we've got the ritual. We can summon the boy, we can summon Dark Magician, uh, Magician of Black Chaos. And we've got lots of rituals here as well. Blood sucker. Oh, and zombies, zombies make a return, don't they? Uh, to help power up them zombie there. From the first booster box we ever got, which was Arena of Lost Souls. Hmm. Remember when that booster box got announced and it was just Arena of Lost Souls, but it didn't say like speed duels or anything? So we were like, what is this? <laughs> Before like the format, it was, it was very weird. Very weird. Because no one knew what to expect. And then, you know, these are getting pretty normalized now with Skull Knight Fusion and stuff. Text Tainted Wisdom and Ancient Brain to summon. Very cool. Oh, and can I just say, Suzuki Samurai, he almost got past me there, Suzuki Samurai, the boy. Yeah, that's proper nostalgia there, Suzuki Samurai. If you didn't have a Suzuki Samurai back in the day. Oh, I've done it. I always forget about this. We know we've got the skill card. Okay, so, Ancient Brain, Double Cyclone, Weefer, and Dino Destruction. So... Uh, activate the skill during your main phase. Once per turn, you can choose one level six or higher dinosaur monster you control. This turn, if it attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. Flip this card over. At the end of the turn, you activated this skill. Huh, that's pretty cool. And I think this is a skill you can activate more than once as well, which is insane, because you just choose a dino, and then you've got inflict piercing damage. So, we've got zombies, we've got dinosaurs, we've got aqua. This is a pretty cool booster box. I want to see more skills though. I want to see what crazy stuff Speed Duels has going on nowadays. So, we've got Flint, Drex Finos. Imagine using the skill on that big boy, that's a lot of damage. Change Slim and Share the Pain. Remember this card as well. Tribute one monster, make your opponent tribute one monster for no effect. Huh. Crazy. Interesting card. The cool thing about Speed Duels as well is if it's a really old card that you actually want to play and you can't get a hold of it and it's in a Speed Duel set, you can use it in regular Yu-Gi-Oh. So it means like prices don't skyrocket if it's a really old card, which is pretty cool. From like a person who just plays Yu-Gi-Oh point of perspective, I think that's pretty cool. And um, the only thing is you have the Speed Duels logo but like i think i can get past oh we got the first super rare other than a skill jirak hera is that a bit of white on it. let's see if you can see a bit of white on the card but it's not muck it's just on the card huh jirak hera so when a defense position jirak monster you control except jirak hera is destroyed by lot and sent to the graveyard and special summon this card from your hand or graveyard that's insane! So as soon as your opponent destroys the defense mode monster you control and you're playing dinosaurs, you summon a big dinosaur. And then you probably have the field spell that gives dinosaurs 300 extra attack. Or is it 400? I'm not sure. So he's just a really, really, really big boy. <laughs> That's a really cool card. Let's get into the next fight. I'm, not, I'm surprised the backs of these cards aren't different as well. Like, can you, I imagine them doing like an anime-esque kind of thing. Just thought of that there, Flint. But yeah, some packs just have no nothing, just all commons. But they're really cheap packs as well. I think like the standard Yu-Gi-Oh booster packs like £2.40, where these are like 95 pence, which is insane. It's really cheap. If you want to buy any as well, they're still on the website. We've still got some Trials of the Kingdom left. But yeah, speed deals are really cheap, and I think a booster box comes out at like 32, 33 pounds, which is for a regular booster pack for Yu-Gi-Oh, it's 52 pounds, which is Quite a lot. Hmm. We're almost through like the half, first half of the booster pack box, and we've got some insane stuff. In my opinion, we've got the box guy, we've got the skill, we've got a dinosaur that's pretty awesome, and Don Zalog, which is a pretty cool ultra rare. Oh, it's booster. This uh, this booster box unboxing is booster box unboxing. That is a tongue twister. Is going pretty well with Cyber Raider, Helping Robot, Giant Mech Soldier, Double Cyclone. This is a you, this is a card you should recognize as well. Target one spell trap card you control and one spell trap card your opponent controls. Destroy them. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think Sao Kaiba would very much approve of this 
<laughs> he approves of this booster box unboxing. I wonder if there's any Kyber cards in this actually. That's a good fun. So long ago, we got the Ritual and Ancient Brand. This half of the boost box is just gonna be all commons. I see it coming. I see it coming. Oh, it's just gonna be all super rares because I don't think we've had enough super rares right now. We've got Share the Pain. You're just not even gonna say it. And Super Warline. <laughs> not even gonna say that one. No way it was I gonna be able to pronounce that one. No way. Come on. Pray to the Egyptian gods. Let's get some good cards. Nope. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> that is not good cards. I'm also curious to see is when they will introduce. Oh, I've done it again. I'm so sorry, I've done it again. <laughs> Helping Robo for combat, giant mech soldier, double cyclone, and zombie master. So, activate this skill card during your main phase. Once per, ter once per duel, you can choose one level four lower zombie monster you control. And it gains the following effect while face up on the field. Once per turn, you can send one monster from your hand to the graveyard, then target one level four lower zombie monster in either graveyard, special summon that target. The monster must be faced up in the field to activate and to resolve its effect. That's a really cool card. Um, and if you control zombie world as well, all your opponent's monsters in their graveyard become zombies. So that means you'll be able to target their monsters in their graveyard as well. Another awesome skill. <sighs> so that's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. If you're looking for like a fresher game of Yu-Gi-Oh as well, I'd say this is for you because it's more, it's more slower pace. Oh, that's an awesome spell card. We got Surface. So tag a one level three or lower fish sea serpent monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in face of defense mode. Very good card, especially if you need the card for like a regular game. Surface is a good spell. Definitely worth picking up. And all these singles will be available on the website to purchase shortly, probably when the video goes up. So if you're interested in any of the cards you see, we pull. They're on the website that they're there to be bought but for you. You know, if you don't want to buy a booster box and you just want, I say, a Magician of Black Chaos for your collection, it's there, pick it up. It'll be cheaper than buying a booster box and hoping you get the Magician of Black Chaos. But some people prefer booster boxes. That's more their thing. It's more my thing. I prefer a booster box. But then you have the whole, I need to pull the card. But we always pull the card. We always pull the card. Uh, Shaw Knight. Once the turn of a battle position of this face-up card in the field is changed, send one water, water monster from your deck to the graveyard. Hmm. Very cool. We've got like a nice mix spread of stuff going on here. We've got warriors, we've got spellcasters, dinos, zombies, water. We've got some good cards going on here, like. Crazy Fish, Suzuki the Boy, and Change Slime. The boy, Suzuki Samurai. He's definitely some boy. I went through these packs. We got Super War Lion, Magic. Oh, we got. Oh, we got an Ultra. So we got Haunted Shrine. So if you control no monsters, tag one zombie monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. If you control no monsters, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Then tag one zombie monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, but its effects are negated. You can only use one Haunted Shrine effect per turn, and only once that turn. That is an awesome trap card. I rate ten. That's not a 10, 10. I read that a 10 out of 10 trap card. Very spicy, very good tech, especially for zombies. Not very good if you're not playing zombies, but 10 out of 10, good trap. Good ultra rare, I like. <laughs> How many ultras? Oh, we got three ultras out of this box, that's awesome. Let's keep going. Bless the box. We've got Kairu Shin. Bless, oh, there's wall iron ritual as well, so we can summon that wall iron. Very nice. This is the Trial of Total Cards. Trials of the Kingdom? No, it's the Trials of Total Cards. I want to get all them ultra rare cards. All the ultra rare cards. Come on. Yu-Gi-Moto, bless the pack. Oh, there's Jurak Hera again. We got a dupe. We got a dupe, boys. Jurak Hera. Good dupe. I'll take it. It's a good dupe. I'll slide you in. Very nice. Come on, Yugi. Heart of the cards, Yugi. Heart of the cards. Not heart of the cards, Yugi. Right. Set of Kaiba. Money. Think about well, money, Set of Kaiba. Money. Money. Epic. No, not money. Cry. We're getting there. We're getting there, boys. Come on. Wait, yours. We got a flintlock. 
flint. Cyber Raider. Oh, we got Surface again. I'll take it. Surface is a good card. Woo, Surface is a good card. I'll take it. You want to play fish? You want to play frogs? I'll take them all. Good cards. Good cards. Let's keep on going. Got Jirax Spinos. Helping Robo for combat. Very cool. Uh, Tainted Wisdom and Shaw Knight. Two packs to go. Some Fin Boys. Some Fin Packs. Ooh, Power Ranger's gonna bless us this time. We're gonna get a Mechazord out of this one. No, we didn't get a Mechazord. Truly devastated. Give you a quick run through the cards we got from the first pack. So we got Haunted Trine, Two Surface, Zombie Master, Jirak Hera, Jirak Hera, Dino Destruction, Magician of Black Chaos, and the Don Zalu. Don Zalu. Got one more pack! Oh my god, what about one more? Never mind. It's gonna be awkward now. Despair from Darkness, Flint, Lock, Ah, it was nothing. It was nothing. It's okay. It was nothing. Yeah, big bulk of OG cards and original stuff going on there. We'll put you up there. I'll put you up here. I can't cover the logo. <laughs> and then we'll move on to our second booster. Shut these away. Second booster box, Yugi Moto, Papa Bless. Come on. Believe, believe, believe. <laughs> Come on. Ugh. He doesn't want to get us into this box, but we're in. We're in. Yeah. This wrapping feels loose, that's unusual. Hmm. Anywho. get these out of the box and into my collection. Goodbye box. <laughs> so, first pack. Will we see some good luck stuff going on here? Let's find out. Drax Spinos, Change Slime, Share the Pain, and War Lion Ritual. No. That's well, nice though. <laughs> Do you, do you know when you like look on the bright side? You don't get a super rare in every pack, so you don't have to sleeve every pack. That's like the look on the bright side I'm gonna take from this booster box. That <laughs> you don't have to sleeve every pack you open. <laughs> so, happy days. We've got Energy Drain, Waking the Dragon, Patrician of Darkness, Change Slime. Come on, Papa Bless. A black magic ritual, ancient brain, and Don Zalog. Again, we got the boy. We're going for a playset. We're going for a playset. We'll take free. I'll take it. It's good. We'll put the ultra there. Papa bless. Next pack. We've got crazy fish, helping Robo, giant mech, and Tutan mask. Tutan car moons. Two. Tutan Kamu, is that his name? Oh god, I need to go back to school. I need to go back to school. Uh, Tainted Wisdom, Assault, Energy, and Flint Lock. Tutan Kamu, I think that was his name. The Egyptian Pharaoh. I see what they're doing there. So we got uh, Girochin Kuagata, Kairu Shin, Mario Kotu. <laughs> Like, why am I even trying to say some of these names? They're crazy. Giro Chinku Wagata. Like, and I've done it again. I keep forgetting. So we got Crazy Fish, Metal Armored Bug, Blood Sucker. Oh, and we got an Ultra Rare skill card, boys. We got Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. So, let's see if we can get this in frame properly. This isn't in frame. Let's read this sucker. So. To activate the following skill cards during your main phase, you can tribute one insect monster from either field. Ugh, it's going out of the frame. Equipped with an equip card, and if you do, special summon one insect monster from your deck, ignoring its summon conditions. Also, flip this card over. And then the other effect you can choose to use is you can shuffle one insect monster from your graveyard into the deck, then draw a card. Each of these skills can only be used once per duel. Crazy. So it's a skill card, but it has two skills, which is pretty dope. You never summon or you never draw. I like that card a lot. Two ultra eyes. Nice. Oh. 
These are pretty cool. I like. I, I rate it a lot. We got a on G. Oh, we got surface again. We got a play set, boys. We got a play set. I'm gonna have to check the back of the booster box because these always have less than I think they do. One sec. One sec. Right. So. They have eight super rare cards and nine ultra rare cards in them. Goodbye. <laughs> right. So, they have eight super rares and nine ultra rare cards. And we have seen... Four super rare. And four ultra rare. So there's another five ultra rare in the set. And another... Four super rares to find. These cards over here. Now I don't think we're gonna get all the ultra rares in this video. However, there is a slight possibility we can get all the super rares. We just have to pray. <laughs> we just have to pray. <laughs> that sucks. I'd really like to see all the cards as well. Right. So, Kairu Shin, Matt Lamed, and Share the Pain. Share the Pain, boys. We need all the skills. Share the pain with me. <sighs> right. I don't know if you saw it. I... <sighs> right. Shh. Shh. Right. <laughs> so awkward to get them out without you seeing. <laughs> so, got Petition of Darkness, Despair from Dark, War Lion Ritual, and Terror from the Deep. So, you can activate the skill during your main phase while you control Kairu Shin. When this skill card is activated, you can activate one Umi directly from your hand, deck, or graveyard. While you control a Kairu Shin, all water monsters you control are unaffected by trap effects. Kairu Shin you control leaves the field, draw two cards, and if you do, flip this card over. That's awesome. Wow. Wow, that's all. I think, whoa. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. So I know you've got to control a specific monster to, um, to use it. But then they're unaffected by trap cards, which means they don't lose attack points from like the OP trap cards. And they also, when it leaves the field, draw two cards. Awesome. And it'll gain attack points from Umi. Did we, I've oh, just done it again, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we can't watch that flint ceiling dino destruction. Um, we've seen this one before. I was about to start reading now, I'm pretty sure We've seen this one before. So have we just got all the skill cards though? Zombie Master. So there's one more skill card we haven't seen. We can do this. We can do it. Do the special chant. Give us another Black Mission of Chaos. Oh, the final skill card. Please. <laughs> Please. I pray. So start plowing through these ones because I'm assuming we've seen most of the common cards now. But we just want to see them cards. We've got Suzuki, the boy. Suzuki Samurai. OG. We've got Tail Swipe, Flintlock, War Lion, and Cyber Raider. Come on, there's two packs there. Let's take this one. Got Shaw Knight, Bloodsucker, and Waking the Dragon, and Sealing Ceremony of Sutin. That's that guy we did in the last thumbnail for um, Mystic Fighters. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, if you haven't seen the Mystic Fighters unboxing, you should check that out. There's a new archetype, the Dragon Maids. They were pretty cool. Um, oh, we got another ultra, and this is a really good trap card, right? I know this from Dueling, uh, from Duelings. So put these boys down. We got Floodgate Trap Hole. This card's awesome. If you play Speed Duels, you need to pick this card up. I uh, advise you many, many times from playing Duelings. This card is bonkers. When your opponent summons a monster, change that monster's face down defense position. Monsters change the face down defense position by this effect. Cannot change their battle position. So if they summon some big boy, some like blue eyes white dragon, they're like, all right, there's no way I can conquer this. Flip in defense mode. You can't use them anymore. It's insane, this card. You need to pick this card up. And it's another ultra rare we haven't pulled yet, so I'm really happy we pulled it. Let's go. Nuts, bonkers. Speed Duel players hate it. People who play it love it. Right, so. <laughs> Next pack. 
Ancient Bram, Blood Sucker. Next pack, <laughs> give us the final skill card, please. We beg. Come on. Wraith the Dragon, Super War Lion. Come on, Yugi. Come on, Magician of Black Chaos. I know I'm being greedy. Being super greedy. Come on. Oh, we did it! Oh! The boy, we got it, right? <laughs> so, we were being super greedy, but the gods bless. The gods bless. <laughs> Thank you. We pulled the Magician of Black Chaos again. He's some boy. We got him again. Only the guy in the box. Pfft, he's nothing. Come on, that's awesome. Wow. <laughs> We've got two. One more. <laughs> now we just need to pray we get another one. Super greedy. Get the play set. Shy Ben's getting off and so. This box has been nuts. We got full Ultra Rares. How many did we get from the last one? We only got three Ultra Rares from the last one. This box is awesome. Wow. Let's go. So we got Flint, Weaver, Energy Drain. I'm kind of not expecting anything else now. <laughs> I think our luck has been pushed just a bit. If we get a skill card, that's going to be awesome. But to be fair, I don't think we can ask for much more out of this box because we have had our fill. Oh, well, there's a new card, Golden Ladybug. Junior, oh, this card's in Duel Links. It's super annoying. So every standby phase, you just reveal it and gain 500 life points. It's super annoying. Ugh. So I'm glad they brought it over. You know, it's just... That's super annoying card. Yeah, well, it's now in speed duels as well. <laughs> I'd be surprised if it sees play, but you know, you never know. You never know. And we've got Shrek Spinner, Shred the Pain. And it's a super rare we haven't seen yet, so we'll take it. Assault, Tail Swipe, and Double Cyclone. How many packs left? Quite a few. These packs always feel nice, I love them. They're nice, I like. So. Let's keep it going. So we got Despair from Darkness. Oh, no. <laughs> I've had to put the cards down and walk away. Oh my God. So we've got another Ultra Rare. I'm just flicking through them because I don't expect anything else. But look, boys, we've got Haunted Shrine again. So we'll flick quickly. Is trying that's five ultra rares in a single booster box. That's nuts. Wow, the last one we got, we only got three. Wow, we're gonna have to go through the old speed duels videos we've done and see how many, how many ultra rares we got out of them boxes because I can't remember, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to get this many. Wow, this is bonkers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's safe to start like flicking through these packs now. Because <laughs> if we get another Ultra Rare, I'll have to do a backflip. Like straight up, face cam reveal. We'll do the backflip. We'll call it a day. Happy is Larry. Like, come on, we get Jaharak Hero again. Super rare. Have to, I don't want to have to do a backflip. Man's wearing jeans. <laughs> right. <laughs> so. Let's get into the next pack. Ooh. I actually can't get over the fact that we pulled that many ultra rares. And like in the comments, you can probably be like, that's normal. We, not, we normally get that from a booster box. I don't, I don't know this. I cannot remember. <laughs> and we're on to the last pack. If you give us a skill card, we're gonna be blessed. I'll open it normally, just so we know. Yeah, so it's not a skill card. You know, let's not get our hopes so. <laughs> up. Um, so let's see what we got. Tutan, Ancient Brain, and Tainted Wisdom. Not interested in that one, right? So, that booster box was nuts. Load of commons, love it. <laughs> Go in the bulk. Um, yeah, let's have a quick flick through what we got. So we got Jirakira, Hot to Try, and Golden Ladybug. Magician of Black Chaos, Floodgate Trap Hall, Dino Destruction, Terror from the Deep, Surface, Cocoon, and Don Zalu. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Same thing we got from this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ah, that's interesting. That's quite interesting. So, 
That was pretty awesome. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm proper buzzing with the packs we got there. Like, just check, none of these packs have cards in. Off the table you go. So yeah, guys, where's the box? Where's the box? Oi. <sighs> this has been Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duels Trials of the Kingdom unboxing. We've opened 72 packs. And to be fair, I'm really happy with the pulls we got. We've got two Black Magician of Chaos. It's Almost all the skill cards, including Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. Haunted Shrine and Floodgate Trap Hole, some insane cards for the set. Really happy with how this video has turned out. So yeah, Yugi, he blessed us. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to pick up some Speed Duels Trials of the Kingdom yourself, we're still in stock. Head over to TotalCards.net and you'll be able to pick yourself up some of these awesome boost packs. Uh, the single card should be up by the time the video is up. So if you're only interested in some of the cards we pulled, they'll all be there for you to get to your heart's content. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a comment, favorite card in the set. Like the video if you enjoy the content we're making and I'll see you guys next time.